What's going on guys, Harry here from Review Tag and today we've got a laptop backpack. Now, why am I reviewing a laptop backpack? Well, so the reason why I'm reviewing a laptop backpack today is because I think that everyone watching this channel is going to want to protect their technology and I feel as if this is a stylish and functional way to do it. So my Zomit reached out to me and sent me their laptop backpack which came in this protective drawstring bag. Which is pretty nice it's got some terrible uh, english translation on it but let's just throw that aside and here's the main attraction the backpack itself so we're just going to do a quick overview of the backpack a little look at the design and my overall opinions <laughs> This is their black top of the range backpack. It comes in at $39.99, so it's definitely not one of the cheapest backpacks I've ever seen. But then again, it's definitely quite stylish. Should provide really good protection for all of your gear. Starting with the back of the backpack, which is really important to a lot of people. It's gonna be what's touching your back at all times, so it better be comfortable. As you can see, this material on the back is extremely soft. Definitely provides a lot of cushion for your back and sort of conforms to the shape of your back. And this channel running all the way down here should help to prevent excess sweating as it provides a channel for cool air to come down. I have seen this feature in quite a few backpacks before, but this one seems to be really nicely implemented due to the thick padding. Likewise, on the straps, we've got exactly the same material. On the outside of the straps, we've got brown accents with a sort of canvas material. Feels really good with the shiny buckles there allowing you to attach different things to the bag. Overall, I really like the contrasting aesthetic of the brown with the black and it just really looks good. On each side of the bag, we've got these wings which hold the straps for the bag in place, but it also doubles as a zipped compartment. If we just open this up, you can see that there's plenty of room to hold a small pair of earphones or something like a bottle, which is something that's pretty standard in a lot of laptop backpacks, but it's not too obtrusive in this one. It's also got a nice leather accent there as well, which is seen on the bottom of the bag, which is very nice. It provides quite a lot of rigidity and should definitely stop your bag getting worn down over time as leathers are definitely a much more resistant material than canvas. On the handle on the top of the bag, we've also got a leather accent which provides a nice amount of grip and is also very comfortable to hold and sturdy. On the top of the bag here, we can see the zips. They're all the same zips, but they're just implemented in different ways. They open up relatively smoothly and has a leather pull tab, which definitely adds to the whole aesthetic of the bag. Opening up the main pocket, you can see we've got quite a lot of room in the main compartment here for notes and other things like that. We also have a Velcro secured laptop pouch there with, I think, a tablet pouch as well on top of it and a zipped compartment along the top there to put in any extra things which runs all the way down to the bottom of the bag. So there's definitely a huge amount of storage space in this compartment alone, which is very nice to see. Opening up the second compartment, we can see that you've got this sort of fabric pouch to hold stuff, I would say a phone. It's got a really nice feel, sort of a little rubberized on the inside actually. And inside of that, we've just got a large container. I think this is really suited to clothes and other things like that. So it's quite got a quite decent amount of depth for a backpack, I'd say. And on the front, we have the third compartment, which actually opens out all the way like that. It opens fully out. And inside of that, we've got a, just a leather sort of pouch, with, which is really nicely lined, actually. We've got a Velcro secured pouch here, which I'd say would hold stuff like a phone or something like that. Got two pen holders and something that could hold small objects like flash drives or something like that. And finally on the front, we've got a mesh pocket. You can hold anything that you want in there, really. Finally on the bottom, we've got a final, final pocket, which I believe on the website is listed as a sunglasses holder. I think that's definitely a good use of it. You could use it to put in a power bank or a portable speaker, I think. So I'm back and I've brought some of my tech products that I've reviewed on the channel. Firstly, we've got the Game Gear speaker, so let's just go ahead and put that one in the front pocket there, see if that one fits. And it does, so that's a really nice pocket for a portable Bluetooth speaker. Now I've got the power bank from Pure Idea. Reviewed this, I think this was my last video. Let's put that one in this pocket, see where that fits, just in that little leather pouch there, and see where this headphone and micro USB charging cable goes. These are just some earphones. Um, so let's put it in this pouch here. Earphones and the cable fit in there nicely. Whoops. Oh, 
I think those ones are best suited to the third pocket there. They've gone in. And finally, my main editing and gaming machine, my laptop there. So unfortunately, larger laptops are not gonna fit into the laptop pouch. It does fit into the main pocket. Taking the bag off is very easy as well. And it's not too bulky. I mean, it's quite a thick bag, but with everything in it that I'd usually take out for a day of uh, studying or whatnot, this is definitely a portable bag and I think it's gonna be a very valuable asset to anyone's tech library. So in conclusion, would I recommend this backpack? Well, for $39.99, if you're on a tight budget, I probably wouldn't recommend this backpack. But if you've got the money to spend and you're looking for quite a fashionable bag that offers some decent protection for your tech products and has a wide variety of pockets, then I'd definitely recommend it. If you don't really care about the style aspect of your bag and just want a utilitarian kind of product, then I'd probably recommend that you look for cheaper options that offer the same functionality at lower price. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Also, leave a comment sharing your thoughts or opinions about this, and I'll see you in the next one.